All right, welcome to Smoky Approved Africa. I'm your boy, Journalist, and on this one, we are here to check out another Zimbabwean artist. This one, though, happens to be a member of my very own collective called Culture Clan. His name, though, is A420. Want to give the people a shout out? Yeah, guys, I hope you're doing good. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to be here. Thanks, bro, for being me here. You know what I'm saying? For real, let's get into it. I hope you guys like the video. There you go, there you go. Now, that being said, uh, we are checking out a song called She Said, and the reason I wanted to bring this song to your guys' attention, one, is because I find it to be a conceptually smart written song, and then secondly, I also find uh, the song to just be fucking enjoyable, and you guys know how much of a stickler I am. So, to be able to find a song I enjoy, but I've also broken down at the same time, is kind of a... A weird place for me at least musically so that's why i wanted to bring this one to you that being said please hit that like and subscribe we are trying to actively grow the channel if you have not already come on man let's make this serious new hit that shit already now also if you would like to help grow the channel pass just a like or subscribe check the description section of this video the patreon is there for you to be able to help participate and we can get into this one let's go <laughs> All right, let's get into this one. God damn it, why you tell me you don't wait? All right, hold on, before we start, though, I did want to say, who's the guy that shot this for you? What's up with them? Uh, big shout out, Tony. Tony shot, like, shot the video for me. Uh, his girlfriend, too. Yeah, they came together. You know what I'm saying? Like, for real. Yeah. Uh, in Glasgow. Yeah, we shot the video in Glasgow. Yeah, we're chilling. For real. Me and JB went to Glasgow, yeah. Hey, shout out to that man, JB. I fuck with that boy. We gonna, I think I'm going to have to do a reaction to his video. Or he's going to have to come over here and do one of these like you doing. And really sit down with us. But shout out to Tony and his missus. Good looking out for my, for my young nigga. Appreciate you making this video for him. This is She Said. Let's get into this. Oh, every 20 a.m. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, this be crazy. Yeah. Mama told me that it's never free. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Huh? Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Mama told me that it's nothing for free. I wake up, I'm just trying to get peace. I praise God when I go on my knees. I don't want nobody telling me I can't do it. Now tell me like you know, cause you never been through it. I've been with the bros, we've been working while you're doing. I've been on my grind every day, two for seven. And I put the work every time I be earning. She said, keep the fire burning. She said, keep the fire burning. She said, keep the fire burning, son. Keep the fire burning, son. She said, uh, she said, uh, she said, uh, she said. So for me, when I first heard this the song for the first time, I was just like, this shit sound cool. Not like cool, like, ah, oh, it's just all right, but just like, this sounds like a good song. And then I'm listening to it more, and I'm listening to it more. And then we're rehearsing it, and then it just clicked one day. I'm just like, wait, this motherfucker wrote a song to his mama. This isn't like a love song or just like a happy go lucky song. This isn't like in like daily affirmations, affirmational song, like the the life a mother pours into a son. So, it is my understanding one correct about this record, and then two like. How did you come to wanting to write that type of record where I guess you highlight the, the affirmational things that your mother has told you? Right. Uh, it's just because, you know, my mom always say it. I mean, every time she always say something like, oh, yeah, just keep the fire burning, never give up, keep going, you got this. You know, so I was just, I feel like I was motivated when I was writing this song. Yeah, I felt like motivated. So I was just like, why not? That's, I, I would say that's the best source of, uh, we'll say, inspiration for a song is motivation. Like, uh, what's the fire song? Uh, Made of Gold? The, that literally, like, I just finished dealing with some bullshit. Like, I normally don't do the whole, like, it directly affects my life writing. I'm just like, I normally just write. So, I, when I did Made of Gold, I was like, fuck that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, that was a quick verse. That was quick. But okay, yeah, that's the thing I also really liked about it and why I say this, to me, this is why I think it's a conceptually well-written song as well as a well-written song is conceptually, you wrote a song that has a message. However, the way that it is delivered is what is um, special about it. 
Because it sounds like it's supposed to be just like some radio shit. But honestly, it's just like a Hallmark card for my mom. Like, I love you. You've, you've been nice to me. You told me some nice things about myself and how hard life might be. But I wrote this song and it sounds good, doesn't it? Like, I, I like that aspect of it, I guess. It's probably my favorite part about this. Remember I was down, nobody around. And tell me that you love me, you would know it'll be fine. I'm just on my grind now. I speak it from all right. I'ma tell you fine now. I'll be with a gang, working every day. We don't sleep, nigga, tryna get my rocks bigger. I'll be working, I just don't say shit. Get my word, one day I'ma make it. We the bar beach, she be getting naked. That's my bar. I'll give a fuck if it's a light one or not, cuz. With a bad bitch, she be getting naked. Mm -mm. I'm like, God damn right. God damn right, my, my nigga talking that shit, cuz. That's the shit I want to hear. And even though, again, like I say, it's very basic. But when I hear it and the tone on it, I'm just like, cuz, that's it. That's it. With a bad bitch, she be getting naked. You motherfucking right. You motherfucking right. We don't sleep, nigga, trying to get my rocks bigger. I've been working, I just don't say shit. Get my word, one day I'ma make it. We the Bob Beach, she be getting naked. Spending on the door, we be on vacation. You already know, I'm not here to pay. No, 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 I'm not here to pay. Mama told me that it's nothing for free. What did she say? I wake up, I'm just trying to get peace. Remember I was down, and nobody around. Keep the fire burning, son. Keep the fire burning, son. <laughs> Look, I've, you guys see me on this channel. I pick people shit apart. Being able to perform this song, when it come out, I can't wait to go Fat Man Scoop on this bitch on stage. I swear to God. I don't back a lot of niggas' music up. Music. I'm talking about on stage. I done took the time to learn another cunt's lyrics, so I could be like, "Oh, bad bees, they be getting naked. Bad bees, they be getting naked." Like, I'm here for it. I'm trying to tell you, this song live is gonna be fucking crazy, crazy. It's a dope ass video. Don't get me wrong, but I've been rehearsing it with you, and I'm like, "What we're gonna be able to do?" And then we also got to do the tester at the the Halloween party. Blood. Blood. I'm just like, oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready. I'm so ready. But uh, as far as she said, I feel like I've covered everything because it's not one of those that I'm going to go through every line bar by bar, especially because, like like I said, we're rehearsing it and working on it actively. So I'm like, I'm intimately already in tune with the record. That's why I'm like, yo, I just want to kind of showcase it and then also ask certain questions about, like, how you came up with the concept because again that's the most special thing like i don't give a fuck how you wrote it just i want to make a hit song that don't sound like a song that's from my mom but it's exactly from my mom but i don't even think that's how you approached it but that's where we ended up so i was just like what the fuck was you thinking about so i that's why i wanted to have you here is there anything else about this song you would like to tell the people um i don't really have like uh, way too much to say but i just want to say if you have a mom and if she's still alive Tell her that you love her. For real. That's good. That's good messaging. That's good messaging. Now, uh, also, if you love your Marge, do me a favor. In the comment section, put your lights up. Put a little flashlight emoji in there. Because what we're going to do at the show is, at the end of the song, we're going to ask people to put their little flashlights up for us if they love their mom. That's going to be like our little crowd interaction portion of the the song. So, if you like your mom, you love your Marge, please put a flashlight in the comment section. Even matter of fact, you'd be doper and put a flashlight and then tell me why you love your mom. Might be a very particular reason. Uh, besides that, this is A420. We are Culture Clan, Billion Dollar Plot. Thank you very much for joining us on this one. I'm very happy to showcase this song because it is a song that I think is going to be 
very popular if it could get out there to the right amount of people. Also, the audio is going to be available next Monday? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, come. So we'll have audio official next Monday, but the video is out first for anybody who wants to get a visual because, you know, the new medium is visuals over audio. But... That said, that's going to be it for us on this one. If you could, please hit that like and subscribe. Uh, if you have made it to the end of this video with us or just supported me because I put out a video, thank you very much. I truly do appreciate you. And, yeah, if you would like to help the channel in more than just a view, like, share, or subscribe, check the description section of the video. The Patreon is now open and available, and we do have a private Discord server. So come mess with me over there. And, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you very much. We out of here. Peace. Let's go. Bye-bye, y'all. I'm out of here.